Hi, I'm Hillary Schein bringing back the good news killing. We took a little social distancing break, but we're back to catch you up on what's been happening and what's to come. COVID-19 has rocked all of our worlds. From business closures to this new term, social distancing, to the great toilet paper rush to flush, it seems that everything has changed over the last month and a half. Killeen has certainly experienced its share of uncertainty and change. From federal to state to county directives, we've been working hard to comply and to keep you informed. We have a resource webpage at killeentexas.gov COVID-19, a local call center at 254-616-3209, 3209 and frequent social media updates. As Texas begins the reopening process, it's up to each of us to avoid taking one step forward and two steps back. The most important thing we can do is proceed with caution. That means continuing to social distance, staying at home as much as possible, washing our hands often and wearing a mask when we do go out. Killeen has managed to keep the number of cases low in our area, so let's keep on that path together. For the health and safety of our nearly 1,200 employees, the city closed all of its business offices to the public at the end of March. While we're not providing many of our services face-to-face, we have remained hard at work providing assistance remotely. We will begin reopening offices in the coming days and weeks, and we'll keep you informed of the changes. Killeen Public Libraries haven't let their closure to stop the spread stop them from providing service to our community. Right away, they started offering story time delivered. Each week, the librarians premiere two new episodes featuring stories, songs, activities, and crafts on Facebook. Episodes air every Monday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. right in your living room and can be watched or rewatched anytime. In other library news, curbside checkout of books and materials resumed this week. You can call the main library or Copper Mountain branch to reserve your items for pickup Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we have a tremendous amount of material online, including ebooks, e audio, reference materials, genealogy websites, and much, much more. Visit the library webpage for more information. And a big shout out to our library staff. Even though the libraries have been closed, the staff has stepped up in a big way for our city. They've been operating the COVID hotline call center six days a week to answer your questions and help you obtain resources. They got out their sewing machines to make hundreds of masks for city staff and those in need. They've even used their 3D printers to produce face mask straps. The library crew is a very resourceful bunch and we couldn't be more proud of their hard work and ingenuity during this very challenging time. Another operation affected by the COVID situation is solid waste services. Our dedicated employees have continued to provide container collections on normal schedules, but other services like recycling and curbside bulk collection were suspended. We were able to change our procedures and make it safe to resume curbside bulk collection. We also still offer free disposal of up to 300 pounds of bulk and excess waste once a month at the transfer station. Recycling remains suspended until our downstream recycling processor will begin accepting it again. Finally, we know you all like to take advantage of the free spring collection event. It's postponed for now and we'll let you know as soon as we have new plans set. Census Day was April 1st and each household in the United States received a postcard in the mail with instructions of how to be counted. While the census has been overshadowed by the worldwide health pandemic, we need you to take just 10 minutes to answer 10 questions. Your response affects the next 10 years of our community, so being counted is extremely important. Federal funds for programs like housing assistance, hospitals, and highways are all based on population, and we can all agree Killeen is growing. Take the census online, by mail, or when visited by a census taker. However you do it, be counted. Keep up with all the latest changes at KilleenTexas.gov, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Spectrum Cable Channel 10. Thanks for tuning in to Good News Killeen.